Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you are all fine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make high voltage capacitor at home. I'm going to use this aluminum foil and this post machine paper. I'm going to use these two materials and we will make a very nice, very beautiful, very professional high voltage capacitor. Now, I will show you how we can make our high voltage capacitor. So, first of all, I want to show you how we will uh, calculate the capacitance of our capacitor. According to this formula, we will calculate the capacitance of our capacitor. And for this project, I am going to use one meter long and six centimeter aluminum foil. So according to the equation, our um, capacitor's capacitance will be approximately 30 nanofarad. So it will be enough for us to use in any application this um, high voltage capacitor. And the voltage of our capacitor will be uh, 1500 volt 1500 volt so it will be a very nice um, high voltage capacitor so let's do it as you see I just cut out two pieces of aluminum foil it's one meter long and six centimeter in length to uh, same equals to same size piece of aluminum foil now I'm going to use this uh, post machine paper as a separator. The thickness of this paper is 0.1 millimeter and the length of the paper is 8 centimeters. So when you put on the um, aluminum foil, it will be a little bit um, wider than aluminum foil. Just like this, when we put the aluminum foil onto each other, they shouldn't, uh, they mustn't touch each other so the length of the paper should be a little bit larger than aluminum foil. I will also cut my paper, two pieces of paper. I'm going to use this tape to stable the paper on the ground. Now I'm going to put the first aluminum foil on the paper. like this and again I'm going to use a piece of tape to stick it onto the paper and I'm going to put the second aluminum foil All the layers should be uh, overlap each other. Now I'm going to roll all of them very, very carefully. Okay, my friends, at this point, I'm going to use two pieces of copper wire and I will just attach the aluminum foil to make a um, terminal for our capacitor. First one, I will attach here. Stick it very tightly. Okay. Now I'm going to attach the second one. Again, very tightly. Now I'm going to use paper tape. Again, very tightly. Our capacitor is almost ready. Okay, now when you put this here inside it, okay. Now it looks better right now that's like that's that's very nice it's look better okay Oops. 
See, that's very nice, very beautiful. That's it, my friend. Our high voltage capacitor is ready. It is 1,500 volts and 30 nanofarad high voltage capacitor. Now we will test it and see if it's work or not. My friends, first of all, I will check it out if there's a short circuit or not. I just set my multimeter to resistor mode and... Okay, as you see, there is no sh short circuit for my high voltage capacitor. There is no short circuit. Okay, my friend, now make another test. I have a transformer here. It is 24 volt transformer. Now I will test my high voltage capacitor with this. I'm just connect my high voltage capacitor to the transformer. See, now I have a speaker here also. I will just connect the one terminal of the speaker to the high voltage capacitor. Now, when I turn on my power supply and just connect these two cables, I should hear a very, very little uh, sound from the speaker, my friends. Now we will see. Just turn on the power supply. Okay, just try to hear the voice. Can you hear the voice, my friends? When I touch, hear the voice. Okay, it means that our high voltage capacitor is working very well. Okay, my friends, I'm going to make my last test with 220 AC volt. Just uh, connect to the power supply. Okay. Okay, my friend. Just here. Turn on the power supply. Can you see the very tiny sparks? Okay. See the tiny sparks? Okay, my friends, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe my channel and like the video. I hope to see you in the next videos. Take care of yourself, my friends.